Hey everyone, Jared here with Heat Press Nation. In this video, we'll be talking about contour cutting. Contour cutting is where your vinyl cutter will cut out your printed graphic using registration marks that can be read by a laser. The ability to contour cut is necessary when working with opaque heat transfer paper, light heat transfer paper, and print and cut heat transfer vinyl. Now it's important to note that not all vinyl cutters are capable of contour cutting, so please make sure your cutter is before getting started. Now I'm going to show you how to contour cut on two different cutters, the GCC Expert 2LX and the Silhouette Cameo 3. Okay, so let's get cutting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to show you how to contour cut in Silhouette Studio with your Cameo. Um, now in Silhouette, they do call it print and cut, but it's the exact same thing. It's the contour cutting feature. They just happen to call it print and cut. So let's go ahead and go to our library. Uh, and I already have this file ready to go. And this is what I want to print. And I want to cut, cut around it so that way I'm only getting just my design. So we're going to go over here to page setup. Um, we're going to want to select letter because that's the size of paper that I'm going to be using today. And then we're also going to want to turn on our registration marks. The registration marks are these marks right here that are going to print with our design. So that way when we put it into our cutter, uh, the cutter will read these marks and then be able to, to cut around our design. So now we're going to size and place our image to our liking. I want this to be a little bit bigger. So and you don't want to go past your guidelines and, and you don't want to you also don't want it to be in any of these like hash marked areas. So right here, this size, uh, the center of my page, that's pretty good. I'm not going to have any issues there. So now we're going to want to trace the image. So I'm going to go over here to our trace panel. We're going to click on select trace area. We're going to draw a box around our image that we want to trace. And you notice it kind of uh, got itself to, to right here. This is where you're going to go ahead and adjust your settings so that way it'll trace the entire design and not just a particular color or section. So now I already, let's try, I already know that for this image I'm probably going to want to set my threshold to about 65 uh, and my high pass to about 210. There we go. Now another thing, you just want to trace the outer edge in this case. We don't want the cutter to cut out all these individual little pieces when we cut it. We only just want it to cut around the outside. So I'm going to click Trace Outer Edge. Okay, so we have our trace on our image. Now if we zoom in close, you'll see right about here on the corners, there's a, how it didn't go perfectly to the edge. Uh, this is going to be normal when you have to trace an image like a JPEG or something. You may not always get perfect corners. Um, now this is not a problem if you're cutting light transfer paper. Um, it will not be noticeable at all when you heat press it. But if you're pressing dark transfer paper, um, then you will want to eliminate any white borders because these will come out uh, on your shirt when you press it. So one way we can do that is with an internal offset. So I'm going to show you what that is right now. So we're going to click on just our line and then we're going to go ahead and go to our offset tool. We're going to click internal offset. Now you see how it already gave us, like it's cutting really deep into our design. We're going to draw this back to usually a 0.01 or uh, 0.02 will be fine. There we go. 0.02 looks great. So now we're going to be cutting a little bit into our design, um, but that's okay because we're not going to catch any white on the corners. Um, everything is going to be, it's going to cut it out perfectly out of our design. So you're not going to have any white borders or anything like that. Uh, and again, this is if you're going to be using like dark transfer paper. Uh, that's definitely something that you're going to want to do is have an internal offset to make sure that it cuts nice and clean, that you don't have any of these little whites on the corners there. So now we're going to grab the original trace line and there we go. We're going to pull it off and we're just going to delete it. There we go. So we only have the one cut line now and it's a little bit inside of our design but it's okay. It's going to look fantastic uh, once we actually get it done there. So let's zoom out. Okay, let's take a look. Everything looks great. So now we can go ahead and send it to our printer. Um, to do that, you're going to go ahead and just click send to printer. You're going to select whichever printer you have there and just go ahead and, and print. 
So we're gonna be printing with Parapy Inkjet Dark Pro and that's gonna be looking great on our dark colored t-shirt. Okay, so now that we've printed our transfer with our contour marks, we're gonna go ahead and lay it down on our cutting mat. And you wanna take extra care to make sure that it is aligned uh, properly in the top corner, exactly as you see it on the preview screen in Silhouette Studio. Then we can go ahead and just flatten it out, make sure that there are no air bubbles in there before sending it to cut. Okay, so now that our transfer is on our cutting mat, we're gonna go ahead and load it into the cutter. Now you're gonna to wanna to, uh, take care and make sure that the cutting mat is lined up on the right hand side with that blue line. We're gonna go ahead and load it up against the rollers and then just hit the load button. And the cutter will do the rest. We're now ready to cut. Okay, so once you've printed it out, you've laid it on your cutting mat, now we can go ahead and go to send. So of course you're gonna to wanna to load the cutting mat onto the cutter. And now for our material, we're gonna choose cardstock plain this is very good uh, standard setting for cutting through heat transfer paper. Uh, and of course, every cutter, uh, it can be a little different depending on how much, you know, wear you have on your blade. You know, lo lots of different factors can go into it. So if you feel that you need to edit your selected material, by all means, go ahead. We, uh, we found that we can work great with just the standard setting. So I'm not gonna touch anything here. Um, I'm just gonna go over to send. And my silhouette cameo is ready. And we're gonna go ahead and send it.